ओके गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अबाउट मिलर इंडिसज एंड वट आर द फीचर ऑफ मिलर इंडिसज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी वट इज द नीड ऑफ मिलर इंडिसज एंड देन वी सी हाउ द क्रिस्टल प्लेन्स आर ओरिएंटेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ईच अदर सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग इट विद टू डायमेंशनल क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर सो हेयर सपोज पार्टिकल्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड यू हैव दिस टू डायमेंशनल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ लेटेस्ट पॉइंट्स एंड यू कैन टेक different directions you can form different unit cells here i am taking these directions two directions along which particles particles are present so two directions are here so this is one of the direction and along this direction the particles are arranged at a distance a okay so a is my primitive vector okay and along this vertical direction i am taking the distance b where particle r present this distance is b distance so class along this direction you can see you can take one more direction here okay so it is easy to represent the particles in two dimension and you can have the clear idea of alignment of arrangement of direction of the arrangement of the particles so what will happen if you have a three dimensional arrangement okay class in three dimension the particles are placed in different planes okay so suppose you have a case of a cube you have a simple cubic okay class this is x axis y axis and z axis you are making simple cubic s c simple cubic so in simple cubic the length of primitive vectors along x axis y axis and z axis that is same so i am taking it to be let a okay all are equal and the angles alpha beta gamma these angles are 90 degree okay the crystal axis are along x axis y axis and z axis these are mutually perpendicular to each other so here the cube is this let this is the size and you can make it like this so class this is the cube and here i am taking one of the plane this one plane this is the plane and this plane is intersecting the y axis at a distance a let this point is a okay so this is three dimensional arrangement of particles so one you can take one more cube along this axis here this is y axis so if i make another cube it will be somewhere here this is the side and then you will have it like this so if you represent this plane this is another plane of the second cube and you can see the planes which is intersecting the y axis at point a and b these are parallel to each other so one of the method 
to represent these play parallel planes was given by miller okay so instead of representing these planes like this we can represent these planes by the help of miller indices h k l so class this is the topic of the day today we will see what are miller indices what is their importance so you have seen the miller indices are set of indices which represent which represent parallel planes in which particles are arranged so in simple cubic the particles are present at the corner okay here also particles are present okay class you can take different examples okay so miller indices basically this represent a set of this represent a set of parallel parallel planes parallel planes in which atoms or molecules are arranged are arranged in the crystal structure in the crystal structure okay class so this is the simple thing what the miller indices are okay class so here we will see how we can we can represent the miller indices for this plane or different kind of planes so for this i am taking a very simple example and the example is suppose this is the z direction along the crystal axis and you have one of the axis along this y axis and another one is this axis that is x axis and here assume a plane which intersect x axis y axis and z axis at some points let the points are let take it along this direction to have a clear idea this is a point a and this is another point b and i am taking here another point that is c okay and let this point is o okay class and particles are arranged in three dimensional space okay and a plane is passing through a b and c points along this crystal axis particles are arranged at a distance small a i am writing here along x direction the particles are present let here then here and this point a it is at a distance of 3 times of a so class here this distance this distance is a and what is a a is the length of primitive translation vector so o a o a this is equal to 3 times of a okay class in the same way let i take along y axis the primitive x primitive translation vector it is of length b the length of primitive translation vector along y direction that is b okay then you will see how much at how much distance 
this intersection point of the plane on this crystal axis is there so if it is b then again this distance again this distance is b so i can write that the plane is intersecting the y crystal axis at point b and o b this is equal to twice of the length of primitive vector length of primitive translation vector along y direction okay now i will take here another example uh, another point c on the z crystal axis and here the plane is cutting at c okay and let this distance is equal to c small c and what is small c this is the length of primitive translation vector along z direction so i can write o capital c this is equal to one time of c so class now we are to decide what is the orientation of the plane which is cutting the crystal axis at point a b and c okay so now what we will do i will represent this plane now okay the plane is this you see this is the plane which is cutting x axis y axis and z axis at different points so class you can represent it like this so now i want to find the orientation of this plane okay class to find the orientation of this plane i will take these coefficients of a b c okay and let this is equal to n1 times of a and this is equal to n2 times of a, b and the third along the third axis it is n3 times of a, c now i will take the coefficients n1 n2 n3 here n1 is equal to 3 and n2 this is equal to 2 and n3 this is equal to 1 okay class so in the first step you have seen you have calculated what is the length of intercept what is the length of oa ob and oc in terms of primitive translation vectors then we will see what are the coefficients of primitive translation vectors in in the intercept lengths along different crystal axis then you will take reciprocal this is the next step so if i take reciprocal of 3 then it will give me 1 by 3 and the reciprocal of 2 it will give me 1 by 2 and reciprocal of 1 it will be 1 by 1 now i will solve this uh, these fractions okay so if you see here the lcm of 3 2 and 1 will be 6 and if you solve it then you will get it to be 2 3 and 6 okay class so this is these indices are miller indices these are put in the parenthesis so class this is the way to find out the miller indices so whatever we have discussed i am writing it in the form of points so firstly the first way to find way to find miller indices mi so first one is find find intercepts find intercepts 
of plane intercepts of plane on crystal axis crystal axis okay x y and z in terms of in terms of in terms of primitive translation vector in terms of primitive translation primitive translation vectors okay then take coefficients take coefficients of intercepts coefficients of primitive vectors that is a b and c okay then we will take reciprocal of them take reciprocal take reciprocal of coefficient coefficients coefficients okay and 1 2 3 and the last point is remove fractions then you will remove remove fractions okay class and that will give you the miller indices and miller indices are represented by h k l whatever you get after removing the fraction put them in parenthesis so this is how you can obtain miller indices okay class now in this case we have seen that how we will find the miller indices now it may be that this plane is parallel to z axis or parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis or any two crystal axis then in that case what will be the intercept so we have to think about this so now i am making another plane and i will make use of simple cubic to have better idea of orientation of the planes this is y axis this is again z axis and here we have x axis and this is the intersection point now the cube let it is of size a let me complete it so this is the cube okay class so this is the cube class and the dimensions along x axis y axis and z axis these are same okay so if i take this plane this is the plane which i have taken the face in the first example see for this face this is the face see here this plane is parallel to z axis and x axis but it is having intercept at this point on the y axis so in this case what is this distance this is the center what is this distance this distance is equal to size of the cube let the size of the cube size of the cube this is a so class we can say that this plane is intersecting the y axis at point a okay this will be 0 a and 0 you can see this point is this coordinate is 0 a 0 so what will be the intercept along the z axis on the z axis or x axis you see if any two sides of the plane are parallel to any axis then 
we say that the plane is parallel to the particular axis now see this side this side and this side these are parallel to the these are along z direction and these two these two sides these are parallel to x axis you can see so in this situation there will be no any intercept on the x axis and z axis or i can say the intercept is at a very large distance that is infinity so in this situation the intercept of this plane on the y axis will, will be at a distance a and at infinite distances on x axis and z axis because this plane is parallel okay to x axis and z axis so in the first case we will find the intercept so here oa mm, let me write let me take uh, the intercept on the x direction this will be infinite because it is parallel and intercept on y axis let it is o y okay so this will be at a distance one time of a because in this direction primitive vector is a okay magnitude of primitive vector is a this is the example of cube so then o z this is again infinite okay now we will see this is the first case this is the first point we are to find intercept okay thus in the second point we will find the coefficient of primitive vectors so along y direction we have one but what is here you can write it to be infin infinite times of a and here also infinite times of a so here you get the coefficients so in the next point you will find the coefficients along the x direction the coefficient is infinity and along the y direction it is 1 and along the z direction it is infinity okay class in the third step what you will do you will take reciprocal so in the first you have seen what are the intercepts then you took the coefficients okay okay class and in the third case you will take reciprocal so now we are to take reciprocal so take reciprocal the reciprocal of infinity is 1 by infinity and that of 1 is 1 by 1 and that of infinity again 1 by infinity okay class and in the fourth case we will remove the fractions so now we are to remove fractions so here we will remove the fractions so 1 by infinity this is 0 and here it is 1 and here it is 0 and we will put now them in parenthesis so for this plane for this plane h k l miller indices this is equal to 0 1 and 0 so this is another point if any plane if any plane is parallel then how you can take the intercept the intercept will be at infinity and miller indices corresponding to that intercept will be 0 okay okay class now we are to see that if any face if any plane is passing through the origin then how we will decide the miller indices so in this case if i take another face another plane that is this one which is in the xz plane so this plane is in xz plane you see here also this plane is parallel to this one okay but in this case the sides are again 
you can apply the same method or you can see here this side this side is parallel to z axis this side is again parallel to z axis so here we will assume that this plane is not intersecting z axis okay or and for the x axis you will see this side and this side these are parallel to x axis so on x axis also there is no any intercept okay i have told you in this case also when the sides are parallel you see in this case this side is parallel to z axis this side is parallel to z axis so in the in this case the intercept on the x axis and z axis that is at infinite distance in, in this case also this side is along z direction so the intercept on the z axis is infinity and here also you see that these two sides are parallel to x axis so intercept for this plane is also at infinite distance okay class but if you see what is the intercept on the y axis the side of this plane is not parallel to y axis and its intersection here is at zero so if i take the intercept to be at zero okay it will become zero it will become 1 by 0 then it will become infinity okay class so infinite uh, to remove this thing infinite the indices is not infinity to find its miller indices okay we will take a plane which is parallel to this one and you know miller indices represent a set of parallel planes in which lattice points are there in the crystal structure so these are parallel planes so the miller indices of this plane and this plane are same so you can have the idea of miller indices of the plane which is passing through the origin with the help of another plane which is parallel to it okay class so this is what i want to say in this case okay class so Uh, the length of the video lecture has been about 30 minutes so uh, in the next lecture we will come with with more examples regarding the same topic but with different orientations okay and we will see that the plane the planes which are parallel to each other those are having similar miller indices okay so thank you class for watching the lecture